Admiral's Log, June 3rd, 1925. My enemies were many, my equals are none. In the shade of the Eiffel Tower, they said France could never be defeated. In the land of the Big Ben and the Royal Navy, they said Britain could never be humbled. And in the realm of pasta and pizza, they said Italy could never be tamed. Now they say nothing. They fear me, like a force of nature, a dealer of thunder and death. Our campaign against Italy has so far lasted a little over a year. I expect it to be concluded momentarily. The Italian ships really haven't been an issue. It seems that the Italian fleet has a very interesting doctrine. Their ships are largely outdated, with the exception of a brand new class of light cruisers. These light cruisers are fast, nimble and heavily armed with torpedoes. It feels like the Italians were betting everything on these new light cruisers. The new light cruiser group has shown where our navy is lacking. Speed. Because I focused on bringing out ever bigger guns, this is where our research budget was allocated. This focus came at the expense of other vital components, such as engines. Right now, I want to focus on researching better engines so our big guns can arrive to the front line on a more suitable platform. Our scientists and engineers have created plans for 18-inch guns. They also came up with an even bigger hull that can displace slightly over 100,000 tons. I see a match made in heaven. All I need is a better engine to ensure their swift arrival on the battlefield. On the political side of things, my star is still rising. The Chancellor's position is weakening, much to my delight. Especially with the successful Italian campaign, I'll be in a position to remove him from power. I have plans to rearrange the Reichstag quite a bit. Needs all these politicians anyway. No, we need people who know how to get things done. We need military men. Fortunately, I know quite the right men for the job. All I need now is for a peace deal with the Italians to fall short of expectations and I can put my grand plan in motion. Hey guys, Stel here and welcome back. It's episode 22 and I wake up to this. Peace signed between the German Empire and the Italian Empire. Um, apparently, even though I said no, the government still went ahead. So, I'm gonna have to have a word with the Chancellor, being the Vice-Chancellor myself. I'm gonna tell the Chancellor that he fucked up, that we could have taken a lot more from the Italians. He went to peace too soon. We're going to have to remove him from office. This is a perfect opportunity for a bit of intrigue and make sure that he knows his place. What can I get? What can I get? I can get 169 million from repairs. I can get some battle cruisers off of them. I can get a battleship, the Andrea Doria. Um, I thought that those CLs were a lot more expensive. Maybe they are, just not there. The Umbria class is a lot more expensive. I just don't want that. I don't really like taking ships off of the enemy, although it could be a very interesting way to run a campaign. Like you can only plunder and you can get some ships from the enemy. Um, or just a random idea. I'm going to take 169 million off of them because I'm running a deficit of 213 million and this is going to help. Quad tubes for launchers. Okay. How's my economy? 12% per year. I'll take that. The Italians are shrinking by five. Holy shit, the British are recovering like crazy. 164 million GDP? I knocked them down to what, 150 something? Good lord. This is not, not ideal. All right, something else than not ideal. I'm having ships go all over the place. Uh, you're going to Gibraltar, yes. Yeah, I suppose I can park some ships here. Like so. I have this task force here. S a couple of heavy cruisers. We're going to park some ships here in Limassol. 
Because I fully suspect that the next encounter is going to be in the med. I don't think the British are going to come after me again with just 53 ships. The Austro-Hungarian uh, Navy has the biggest navy right next to mine. It's just that I'm allied with them, so I don't really foresee a war right now. Um, I'm going to stick to transport capacity. I'm going to have to re reduce my spending a lot. I don't know with what. Do I have any ships at home? Yeah, I can scrap the Hagen. It's going to save me 5 million. This is a very old ship. Any other battleships I can scrap? Nassau. You're another one of the Baden class. You're positioned in the Western Med. There. No. Where then? Here? Here? Here. There's a fleet here behind it. Hello. All of you, move along home. We're going to have to do some maintenance of sorts. Um... Yeah, I want to scrap these older guys. I want to scrap the Hildebrandt. It's also a bottom class ship. Scrap. Having them out there is a lot more expensive than having them sit in port. So for now, I'm going to just have to have them sit in port. I'm still building the Fritschhof and the Grosse Kurfürst. I'm also building the Nice now and the Poison, which is another Pomeran and an Otto class. And I have... Yeah, I just have a fuck ton of destroyers. I'm going to pull the entire fleet back. Just to save as much money as I can. Where are you in the North Sea, exactly? Can I just mothball some ships? Could that work? Just set the crew to none? Because right now this thing is going to cost me 9 million a month. Now it's costing me two million a month. That's a lot better. A lot better. Okay, set the crew to none. Mothballed. 165 million negative. That's very negative. This is probably not going to do that much. From four million we go down to one million. That's going to help, but I really don't have to mothball my whole fleet. I think that's... Not a great way to go right now. Can I do this for multiple ships? I have to do it one by one. Okay, that's a UI thing that they need to change. Because this is getting a little tedious. Oh well. Go on. 140 million. How am I going to fund all this? Let's have the transport capacity grow slowly. What the hell is so expensive? It has to be the fleet. There's nothing really else that can be. Okay. I'm still blockading them. Guys, you can send down the blockade because we're at peace. Let's see how this changes things. Minus 46 million. We're going to have to get some new ships either way. Whether I'm at peace or not. I think I'll be planning for the next war. What? Why? The Prime Minister believes that our Navy's crew training level is inadequate. Fuck off. Uh, how do you respond to his opinion? You advise him to deal with the government's corruption problems and not interfere in the Navy's procedures. Don't stick your nose where it does not belong. So what's the next plan then? What's the next evil scheme? Do I want to fight the British again? Is that something I want to go for? Am I going to fight the Italians again? Oh. Yes, I would imagine so. I'm no longer at war with them. Hmm... I guess we'll just have to play a few rounds, potentially a few years, until something interesting happens. After a few months, I finally researched the Raider Rangefinder 1. 
This is gonna be a very powerful system because not only will it give you more gun aiming speed and more long range accuracy, it'll also give you more tower spotting. And this is something my ships have been struggling with a lot. Not that I've been actually using them to fight in the last couple of months, but for future reference, these tower spotting capabilities are fantastic to have. It will make your ship more visible. It will make your towers more expensive. I don't mind all that. If I can shoot the enemy from farther away, I will. I've also been bolstering my economy. Um, it's been growing at an incredible rate. I'm growing by 21% per year. And the British, 14%. The Austro-Hungarians, 21%. The Italians are still struggling. They have recovered from the war somewhat, yet are still at 71 million GDP versus my 94. Um, aside from doing research, I'm not doing much else. I'm just preparing for the next war. And uh, the next big guns research is unknown, but what I got recently was the Mark III 15-incher, so that's nice. I'm now going to also put some research into hull strengthening because I would like to get a better battlecruiser. At the moment, I don't really have one, so that's going to take me a while. And actually, let's go for uh, armor forging. Well, armor quality isn't really going to help me that much. So it doesn't really add anything new. Better explosives gives you the torpedo contact exploder 4. Less dot chance. It's okay. Shells. What's that going to get me? Not sure. No, let's just go with hull strengthening. Oh, actually, engines would be nice to get. Because so far, I'm still running the double geared or the, the, bleh, the geared steam turbines. Nothing better. If I can get a better engine, that'd be a big help. All right, off screen, I'll be refitting all of my ships to make sure that they have rangefinders, radar rangefinders at that. And uh, I think we're going to have to hold, well, we're going to have to have the Navy mothballed for a while, build the economy, research, and build that tech bonus out even more. A good while later, it is April 1928, and. There's been quite a bit a lot of intrigue around the Italian Empire. Um, we've had agents get sabotaging acts done against them, and then I was asked how I would like to respond. We've been targeted by an Italian agent, and I was able to capture him, expose him, and further reduce relationships with the Italian Empire. And now the victory, or the government is interested to know if you could guarantee victory over the Italian Empire. Well, yes, of course. Our fleet is strong enough. It is only necessary to increase funding for the additional training of our crew. I can, but only after the entry into service of important combat units. Funding must be significantly increased. Or it's better to discuss how to improve relations. No. Of course we're going to need more naval budget. Now, over the last few months, I've been doing quite a bit of research, and that means that I now have access to the 18-inch gun. Moreover, I also have access to large battleship hulls. Uh, more importantly, Super Battleship 1 and 2. In order to actually be able to build those, I had to upgrade my shipyard to 108,650 tons. The only ingredient I'm now waiting on is engines. Better engines. Double-geared steam turbines are required to power those huge ships. And uh, I'm going to wait for that for two months, and then we're going to build some new ships. The other ships of the Fritschhoff class... That is the uh, Grosshof Kurfürst and the, well, the Fritschhoff itself. Here it is. Uh, they're both mothballed. This means that crew training is not really being done. And considering that I'm now actually at a state where war might be happening, I want to start... Oh, they're now trained. Okay, uh, I want to make sure that the crew is properly trained. Because I am concerned that hostilities might break out. The ships, however, are quite expensive to run at 13 million, and I can only imagine not only how long it's going to take to build a super battleship, but also how much it's going to cost me in maintenance per month. It's not going to be cheap. So we're going to wait two months, and then... Oh, here we go, Sonar 1. And then we're going to be building a super battleship. Just as I was about to start building the new battleships, our fishermen complain that they're getting harassed by the Italian Empire's military ships in every possible way. The government asks you how to respond. Launch an official protest. We're gonna... Well, yes, but I don't like the cost. 
Um, I'm going to send an official protest. Sending a naval squadron would probably make more of an impression, but I don't want to spend 77 million on that. Here we go. Double geared steam turbines. Let's go build a huge ship. I'm also going to have to upgrade my shipyard yet again because it's another two year project. But here we are. Super Battleship 2. Currently, it's the biggest I can get it, which is 108,650 tons. It's a massive, massive warship. And with these double geared steam turbines, I should be able to put a lot of armor on it, um, as well as with the new radar, be able to shoot accurately with it. As opposed to the normal situation, I'm going to give these guys stereoscopic range finders because the 30% long range accuracy ties in very nicely with this one. Meaning that at long range, these guns could be extremely accurate. Um, maybe balanced, some orcs, some shafts, electrohydraulic steering, reinforced bulkheads, standard crew. Well, that's a bit much. Uh, 108650. There we go. Make it 30 knots. Make it all the range, because we're going to have to go absolutely everywhere. And now I have to put some double hull bottom in place. Uh, get sonar 1 for additional torpedo spawning, because this thing probably doesn't turn. 584, it's not bad. And RDF normally was my go-to, because it ups the ability of my ships to actually find the enemy. But with radar, I don't think I need it that much. So I'm going to forgo a radio. Now then... 18-inch guns. Mark 1, they're not great. They're not really going to be having all the perfect stats, but that's fine. Uh, let's make them double barrel. And let's give this thing... Oh, come on. We're going to have to push this forward. Yes. To here-ish. Need just, just a little bit more room. However... If I'm going to up the size of these things, yeah, that's what I was worried about. It doesn't fit very well. Now it does. But, eh -eh. shit. Come on. No. Okay. Um, in that case, we're going to try and build a German Yamato plus. I mean, Yamato is small. We must go bigger. 18.9 triple like that. Push this back, push this back. Relief that, put this here, put this there. And now we have 18.9 inch guns. That's bigger than Yamato. With current unupgraded stats, I can fling a shell 45 kilometers. And I wouldn't actually be surprised if I end up hitting something at that range as well. It's entirely possible. Let's go for forced. Whoa. I'm going to need an uber funnel. 82% efficiency. Still not great. We're going to need better oil. Okay, better barbettes. Um, TNT-3. Two powder. Humongous shells. SAP is a very interesting idea. Very interesting. Because these guns are so enormous that... I really don't need much more pen than what I'm currently getting. At very high range, I could get... And I'm looking at 30... Yeah, 39.5. Looking at 35,000 meter range, I can get 11-inch deck pen. If I go for semi-ballistic, I still have that ricochet angle. I can now pen 13 inches. So it's a little better. If I go for the capped ballistic HE... I can pen six and a half inches of deck armor, which is really quite nice. Uh, and if I go for the cap ballistic, how far can I shoot? 44.6 clicks. Sweet Jesus. Okay. I'm going to go for semi-ballistic and capped ballistic HE. It means I'm not going to have as much HE damage, minus 15%. But keep in mind, these things are so big, it's 18.9 inch. I can do three and a half thousand damage with one HE shell. That's a lot of damage. Problem, reload. This is going to make them very heavy. And if I want to rotate them at all... Oh, that's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. Rotate speed, 1.35 degrees per second. Um, 
Here's the thing though. They reload in 394 seconds. That's six and a half minutes. Six and a half minutes before these things fire. That is a lot of time. For these things, it's 332. And for the singles, it's 246. I need to get this upgraded to auto loaders. I just don't really know when I can expect that. It's the turret mechanisms. If I go for standard shells, it pushes the reload under. Th oh, it's still 368. Yeah. Light shells? 328. What if I make them standard 18s? 292. What if I give them standard barrel length? 173. Yeah, but the damage is not quite there, is it? Look at that HE damage. 1714. That's cute, but unacceptable. Boom. No, sorry, it's this. It's this 0.9 inch that does the damage. 2150. Plus, of course, super heavy shells. So these things better hit, right? They better hit. I'm probably not going to have much more than one of these ships. Because they're going to take, I don't know, half a century to build. 34 months. Not bad. I don't want these things on the front line at all. If I remove... Yeah, we're going to put them on standard range. I don't want them on the front line at all. I don't want to have them anywhere near the front line. So I'm considering forgoing a secondary armament, maybe with the exception of a couple of fives. Just so that if a destroyer happens to show up, I can tell it to fuck off pretty quick. But anything else, I don't think I'm going to really use. This can still shoot 20 kilometers out with high explosive. It's not likely to hit. It'll still do damage. Um, HE, 2-inch pen, AP, 4-inch pen. Let's go for maximum HE, meaning that I have mm, an okay amount of HE. 50% less than usual for the guns. What about slimming the ship down to make her faster? It also means I have a less, firing a less stable firing platform. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have one of the Braunschweig class because they're so incredibly expensive and they are extremely specialistic ships. I do want to have another battleship, probably with smaller guns, which yeah, it kind of goes against doctrine. It goes against the big gun doctrine, but otherwise I cannot make these, let's say, one ship navies really work. Uh, let's upgrade your deck armor a bit. So seven inch of deck armor, a bit more main deck armor, not too heavy. There. See, if I would go with another super battleship, is there any notable difference? Oh, this one's a bit longer. Hmm. How fast can I make these boys? <laughs> well, well, nine, 39 knots. I don't think I can actually put guns on this if it's doing 39 knots. It'll probably be too heavy. Yeah, that's not going to fly. What if I reduce the beam? Essentially make it a sort of battle cruiser. Not too wide. That would fit. Wow. Standard quarters, please. This would make for a very interesting ship. Probably coincidence rangefinders, because you're going to be somewhat closer. Sonar, yes. No radar. Uh, oil. I don't think I can get the engine efficiency on this ship anywhere near what I would need. No. 
That's fairly horrible. I'm going to need a better oil to make sure that this actually works. Right. Give me some small engine upgrades. What sort of main guns would I put on this? What What about 11 inches? Hold on. This is half a billion worth of battleship? This is pushing it 364 million. This is ridiculous because of all this speed. No. Not a good idea. What if I go for 32 knots? 225 million. There we go. And then I can put probably 18s on it. Doesn't fit on this tower. No, scratch that. I'm going to have to probably wait for a bigger ship, a bigger hull design. And until that happens, and until better engines come along, I'll just have one Braunschweig. Okay, fine, two. You're twisting my arm, two. Right. Anything else coming up? I really would like a better battle cruiser. I'm still running around with an old battle cruiser design, but it's just not coming up yet. We'll have to wait. A bit more research later, and we now have the Advanced Armored Cruiser 1 and the Modern Heavy Cruiser 2. Let's see what these new designs would be able to do for me. Sadly, there's a bit of a um, financial crisis going on in-game, meaning that I'm looking at a bit of a deficit here and there. It's not great, but we'll just have to make it work. Now, these cruisers are going to be useful depending on the size of the guns I can add. And depending on the type of tower. See, the Germans have these really big towers. And you're kind of constrained in how much you can actually put on them. With gear turbines too, though, I suspect I can make them reasonably quick. And potentially also able to take a lot of firepower with them. Let's give them radar. Give them a citadel. Reinforced bulkheads, a double hull, some anti-torpedo blistering. But since I have sonar... I don't really want to invest too much in it. Better turning. Whoa. Okay. Uh, what if I go for... Yeah, see, that's a bit big. And this isn't even my final form, because I would like to add triple barrels and make them 11.9ers. Like that. Oh, sorry. Plus 20%. That's not really going to fit on this hull. And this is as large a cruiser as I can make it. This is kind of the problem with the German ships. They're so constrained. That's why sometimes I don't really like to use them. This is the largest cruiser. It's above the largest cruiser design. So I would have to go smaller gun-wise. Meaning like 10-inch triple... Would that fit? 20 here? No. Okay, so this Modern Cruiser 2, not great. Armored Cruiser 1. See, this... This has opportunities. This says I can make something work. This I like. Uh, coincidence, not stereo, yes. Double reinforced anti-floods. Click, 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 click there. Standard. Okay. This I can work with. Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe I can work with this very well. Like... This? Oh, please tell me that would fit. No, it does not fit. Crap. What if I use another barbette? Could I push the whole thing forward? Like so. Push the main tower forward. Pull the secondary tower forward. Put another barbette there. Put this gun here, yes. I'm just gonna hope that this fits if I also improve the size. 
It does. Holy shit, that's a lot of four weight offset. Yeah, that's not really going to work that well. Um, these are Mark IVs, by the way. These are really advanced guns. Let's pull the whole superstructure and everything back. Here. This tower is also quite nice, these triangular ones. This takes up a lot of space on the deck. Pull this here. Pull this here. Because then my citadel is smaller and I can armor the ship a little easier. Extra large funnel station. Four weight is still 28. That's a lot. 21. And to think that I'm not even done upgrading these guns. Hmm. What if I put like a five inches on the stern? Does that balance the ship out? Somewhat? Speed is going to be a problem on this thing. Because it's not fast. I could potentially make it sleeker, thereby needing less engine power in order to get up to the same sort of speed. Armor is going to be, yeah. Hmm. What sort of situation could I envision these ships using it? Because these guns are fantastic. They fire every 55 seconds. We're going to... Well, we're going to change that a little bit. Now it's 58. But the amount of armor pen with semi-armor piercing is very dangerous. 10,000 meter range is 20.9 inch pen. 21.1. Uh, Reduce the torpedo blistering. Standard. Armor is bad. My citadel with these guns so far apart is problematic. Wait. This shrinks the citadel down a lot. What if I abuse that? What if I go like this? I mean, I understand you're supposed to build something like a Graf Spey with this. I'm not doing that. So the game is not really liking it. But with this, I have quite a lot of forward facing firepower on a hull that doesn't really. Holy shit, it turns fantastically well. This long thing? You can turn this in 177 meters? How long is this ship? Where's the, the ship plan? Length, six, 678 feet. So 0.3-ish. So we're looking at a 220 meter ship that can turn in... L How? That's impressive. See, I would like to use one of these ships. And just have them secondary spec with fivers. Like so. I've got to make sure that these are long barrels, of course. Uh, I was afraid of that. Now they're too big. I push them off to the side a bit more. I hope these will properly rotate. Apologies if they're not. Okay. It's a lot of firepower for a cruiser. Just make sure nothing gets behind you. Or you're going to have a bit of a problem with these ships. Because these 5.9ers are deadly. Uh, against a cruiser, they're not going to do that much. So maneuvering, fairly important. And I suppose that with all these guns, I could pretty, pretty quickly burn something down as well. Although a reload of 37 seconds... And that's with the semi-auto loader. 
No, in that case, we're best gonna go for high high damage HE. High pen chance. Um this means I can go a bit more bow in. See my citadel isn't that that long. So four belt's gonna be more important. Eight inch. Main belt, I'll take 15 inch, thank you. Uh, inner, four. Stern is gonna have to get balanced a lot. Seven, there we go. Main deck, oh, I don't know, four inch or something? Three inch. Two inch on the superstructures, bit much. One, three, two, nope, one. Two inch deck. I want to have that superstructure up higher. Make this seven, make this six. The superstructure I find to be more uh, required. That's better, that's more comfortable. Some guns have a poor field of fire, they, I'll bet they do. Yet these guns have a pretty good field of fire. What if... I can fire so far over the shoulder with these ships. The problem is my citadel just got bigger, and as such, my armor scheme got a little weird. Four widows at 18%. Yeah, go figure. No, I think they were better where they were. This gives me a very nice field of fire. The other one gave me a fantastic field of fire. Okay, a bit more four armor belt then. Let's put it on the turrets, 20 inch. No? Oh, that's maxed out. 20 inch barbette ought to do it. Pitch and roll are not great. Uh, 8. 8.5. 8 yeah. Something like that, I suppose. 15 inch on the superstructure and conning. No, no. <laughs> Just on the conning tower, not the superstructure. And speed, can we do anything about that? Maybe 27 knots, 20... Can we do 30? No. 29? No. 28. No. Don't be like that. Here. Turning circle, 198. I'm very happy with that turning circle. The Irene class. 55 million a pop. Build time, 16 months. That's very nice. I'll, uh... I'll have a few. Because we have to prepare for war with the Italians, and it might come sooner than 16 months. There. Here, let's go six. Um, I have a couple of battleships that I have refit. The Autos I have now received 16.9 inch guns of the Mark III type. Their engines have been upgraded. Uh, their radars have been installed. These ships are eager to go out there and show me what they can do. The battle cruisers, um, they're getting a bit old. They're getting a bit old. They're still very useful against the enemy, I imagine. It's just that I'm probably going to have to overhaul them, but I want to do that... Ah, whatever, let's do it now. Let's see. Uh, that is the old Mars class. View that design, the Mars 1923-2. These guys are going to get a big jump in tech. Big jump. Look at that. Boom. Instantly different looking turrets. But... That doesn't fit that tower. This is the advanced rear tower too. Yeah, I don't have a better rear tower. Shit. That means I'm gonna have to either shrink these guns back down. Oh, they're 15 inches. Hmm. To be fair, a 15 inch gun is really nothing to snicker at. If given enough firepower, these things could be really quite dangerous. And they have quite a bit of firepower. Let's give them normal shells. And when it comes to rudder, they're already maxed, unbalanced. Let's give them a sonar as well. I have 4,000 tons. I have an idea. Let's see, these are the gross funnels. Plus one four. This one. This is 40. Could I throw a new funnel into these things and just make them really quick? 
doesn't fit. What about two fives? One, no. Eh. Okay. Uh, 35 knots? No. 34 knots? No. Hmm. So that barely did anything. I probably have way too much engine efficiency. Yeah. Okay. What am I going to do with 4,000 tons? What am I going to do with 4,000 tons? If I cannot put it into speed... What am I going to do with it? Armor? Two-inch superstructure. Yeah, I guess armor. Everything else doesn't quite work. I think the refit for these things is going to take a lot of time. I have time. I just don't have that much money left. 15-inch main belt. 6-inch main deck. 5 and 5. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so up armor, um, better turrets, although slightly smaller. Normal shells. These things reload still quite slowly in 85 seconds. Yet, they'll be able to do quite a lot of damage against virtually any target. Secondaries are the Mark III 8.9ers. And then we got another 5.9er there. And we even have casemate guns. <sighs> do I really want to keep these? Oh, they're also the Mark III. Yeah, whatever. Okay, how long is this going to take? Because I'm refitting quite a lot. I'm refitting the engines. I'm putting different turrets on. I imagine this is going to take me a while. Let's just refit. No, let's refit one, just the Mars. Hello, Mars. Where are you at? BC Mars. 12 months. It's not the first 12-month refit these guys have gone through. Oh, they're costing me less <laughs> while they're refitting. Well, if you're going to make me a deal like that. Hold on. Are you lying? No. No, they're probably going to cost me extra because I'm also refitting. Oh, well. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of battleships. Uh, it's just that they're all mothballed to save me quite a bit of money per month. I'm eager to deploy these ships. The Ottos, uh, we got the the Fritjof and the Grosse, Grosse Kurfürst. I really want to get these ships out there with their huge guns. And then, of course, we're also building uh, Beowulf and Braunschweig, 26 months. We got the new battle cruisers coming out. We got a couple of heavy cruisers coming out. It's a lot of ships and it's, well, it's eager for blood. So we're going to have to provoke somebody. And judging by our current relationship, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be the Italians. The Italians have recovered quite nicely. They still have an active fleet of 49 ships. Uh, my economy is 121 million, sorry, billion. And this is fucking scary. 219 billion. Holy crap. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. We need to go to war with the Italians first, knock them out entirely, and then finish off the British. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about, about uh, lack of battle. It's an interbellum, if you will. There's not that much action going on. But behind the scenes, there's a lot of action going on as we're getting a lot more firepower on our currently existing ships. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time for hopefully more action.